Hi there, often when editing dialogue or people talking in DaVinci Resolve, there's going to be parts where the person's talking too quietly and parts where they're talking too loudly. One of the ways we can start to fix this is by using keyframing at the clip level to kind of balance out the levels of the talking. So here I've just got a bit of a snippet of me talking, I'll just play this back. However, if I talk really quiet and then really loud and then really quiet and then really loud, there's a couple of things wrong with this. First of all, the overall volume level is too low. And also within the clip, you've got sections such as this section here where I'm whispering and sections here where I'm talking more normally. So this section is where there's a normal average level of talking. So we'll concentrate on this section. There'd be a greater dynamic range there of the audio. There'd be a greater dynamic range there of the audio. So that section's roughly hitting around the negative 12 mark. It's obviously quite up and down still. So we know now if I just hover over this section here and hold down the left mouse button, we want this entire clip to be set to plus 5.4 dB volume. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo those changes. I'm going to select pointer mode, select the entire clip, open up the inspector, come over to the volume here and just type in 5.4. We'll just click this to close the inspector to give us more room. And if we just play this back now. However, if I talked really quiet and then really loud and then really quiet and then really loud, there'd be a greater dynamic range there. We've still got sections where I'm whispering that we can hardly hear. And that's where manual keyframing comes in. Obviously, we want to respect the emotional part of me whispering. So we don't just want to make it really loud, but we do want to maybe bring up this section a bit. So we want to start about here. To add a keyframe, hold down Alt, Option on a Mac, and click this volume line. Find the end of the whispering, somewhere about here. And then add two more keyframes inside this, and then drag this line up. However, if I talked really quiet and then... Re However, if I talked really quiet and then really loud, if I talked really quiet and then... We do have a peak here, which if we wanted to, we could just zoom in. Once again, hold down Alt and add some keyframes and just try and reduce that peak a little bit. But if I talked really quiet... You can also use the focus mode tool here. Let's go and increase the second bit of whispering. We'll just select it and play it back. Really quiet, then really quiet. And then drag this up. And really loud. And then and then really loud. Maybe a tiny bit more. Once again, we want to respect the fact that we're whispering. If I play this whole thing back now, watch the volume meter down here, we should be roughly in that negative 12 ballpark now for the entire clip. However, if I talked really quiet and then really loud and then really quiet and then really loud, there'd be a greater dynamic range there of the audio which there is. In another video, I'm also going to go into how we can use these controls to work at the track level volume, not just individual clips. If that's something that's useful to you, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. So doing all of this keyframing manually gives you more creative control, but if you need a quicker editing workflow, you can just turn on something called the Dialog Leveler Track Effect. We'll just go and delete all of these keyframes by opening up the inspector and then clicking this button to reset the volume keyframes. To turn on the dialogue leveler for this track, click this little circle here. And if you want to open up the controls for the dialogue leveler, click this little button here. You can experiment with these different options and then adjust this output gain so you're getting about that negative 12 dB average talking level. Elevating your audio to really make it shine will give you a massive advantage over other editors. Check out my DaVinci Resolve Fairlight course, the first link in the description, or scan this QR code to learn more. Once you've adjusted the individual volume levels, you can then use an EQ tool to really bring out the best in those vocals. If you want to start learning more about the EQ tool in DaVinci Resolve Fairlight, check out this video next. I'm Jason Roberts, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.